The following announcement has been paid for by Journey into Wrestling. Things seem to be changing around here, and I'm talking podcast, brother. Journey into Comics Network and no JIW? Where's the wrestling? That's just it, bro. We're making a comeback. JIW has taken over. Butt stuff, podcastrophy, the poor rapport, all these new guys on the scene. We're about to show them what podcasting is all a about, Chico. Why don't you tell them when they can hear us, Nate? Every other Wednesday, right here on the Journey into Wrestling Network. Anything less is just too civilized. New, new, new world, new world order. The following is a Journey into Comics Network production. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, good fourth meal. I'm not sure when you're listening to this. Uh, my name is Nick. I am a dude, and we're gonna drink some brews. Uh, I've got a couple friends with me today. Uh, a lot of you, perhaps, maybe, have heard of Doctor Dongo. Go ahead and give us a hi. Hi there. He looks just as sensual as he sounds. I've also got my good friend Zach Davidson with me. How you doing, Zach? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Welcome to the debut uh, podcast of Brews with Dudes, where we're going to uh, taste all sorts of different beers. Uh, in most cases, they're going to be new beers that none of us have tried yet. Uh, and we're going to talk about them. Uh, in between that, we're going to talk about dude stuff. Um, but last but not least, we've also got my friend Brett Maxwell with us today. Brett, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. So, uh, Zach, you, uh, your brew that you picked this week is going to start us off. Uh, did you have anything that you wanted to say about what you brought while I'm cracking them open? Uh, only that I tried to look for something I've never had before. Stuck out in my mind as an island lager. So I anticipate it being, you know, a little fruity maybe. Maybe a little, uh, I don't know, honestly. And that's the whole excitement of it. I don't know what to expect. I can tell seeing it now it's very pale and it looks very good. Mmm. Smells nice and crisp. Little orange peel, maybe? I don't know. You guys are so good at this. I'm such an amateur <laughs> at this beer thing. <laughs> at the beer thing, at least. Yeah. Maybe not the podcast thing. Oh, you You've know. You've been doing good so far. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's part of the fun, I think, that we're going to try to get into is is uh, we're going to have people who know how to, quote, talk about beer and people yeah. who don't. So I'm, try to, I'm, sorry. I'm just going to try to find fun ways to describe things. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for that because, like, I don't know much about it, and it's a it's a nice learning experience. I love Every how, taste is a learning experience. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I love how formal you guys are talking. Like, <laughs> It's going to devolve as we drink more beer. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Really it is light. very light. That is very light. This is Kona Brewing Company's Long Board Island Lager. I'm almost a little surprised at how light it is, to be honest. You say Kona? Kona, yeah. Kona, I believe yes. they got acquired by Budweiser, or Anheuser-Busch. Really? Yeah. I could definitely see why it uh, would be their island lager. This is something that I could drink if it was a very hot day. I know, I know. With certain beers, they sit a little too heavy sometimes, and I could. This one's got for for a light beer, which I'm not usually a fan of. This one has still a good flavor and doesn't just end up tasting like Bud Light or or something of the latter. So, this is definitely something I could drink on a hotter day and enjoy. Yeah, it definitely strikes me as something Grandpa would like. <laughs> Grandpa's not a huge fan of the hops. Although this does have good, this does have a good, uh, good hop a good, character. A good it's taste. not much, but but yes, I'm also like like Brett. I like my beers a little more same, a little more hitting you in the mouth with mm -hmm. some flavor. 
This is what you call a good warm-up beer. Which is exactly what it is. So the format that we're going with, uh, with, with the show and how we're tasting the beers is we ask uh, every dude to bring a brew. Um, and then we're going to try all the different ones that everyone brings. So this is one that Zach brought. Um, I, I believe I brought some Revolution, the anti-hero. Um, and then I also brought a Bomber, which is going to be like our finale, the 18th Street uh, Hunter Coffee. I'm really excited about that. And then, uh, Brad's, your yours was from Stone, but I don't quite remember what, what you, exactly it was. Um, the one I brought, it's a, it's actually a limited release by Stone. It just hit the shelves maybe a week or two ago. Um, I've got a coworker that really follows it, and uh, he told me about it and said it came out finally. Um, it's called Vengeful Spirit IPA. Uh, it's brewed with uh, pineapple and mandarin, and I'm very excited to try it. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I'm really into the the juicy seems to be too descriptive um it's definitely still a really strong beer but that very that very fruity forward they're definitely very tasty and to enjoy at the time i've not had many uh many beers from stone but the last couple that i've had have been very pleasant so it looks like we are uh grinding to a halt on the first beer um so we're gonna we're going to go refill the glasses, give them a, a quick wash. I think it's anti-hero time, if I'm not mistaken. So, so Dr. Dongo. Hey. What's hey, uh, hey. What's been going on in your world? You, you're uh, really pushing the podcastrophy. You've been doing quite yeah. a few. Yeah, uh, podcastrophy has been a blast, uh, basically. I, I Like this last weekend, I recorded two episodes. That's what so, I mean, um, just really just <laughs> pushing ahead, doing, just knocking them out. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been so much fun. Like these this last weekend, I got to I got to have my friend, my longtime friend uh, Matt Wilcox on the show. That that will appear um, this coming week. By the time this is out, it'll probably already be out there. But I was very excited to get him on there because he's got a he's got a new YouTube series that he's been doing up in Chicago, um, which is fantastic because he's been him and i used to do videos together and i i see all of that in his videos like all the stuff we used to do and it's just like it's all still there like the like the style of humor and all that and it's great that's nice so oh, and then yeah. the next day we had the entire journey into comics network podcast bonanza whatever you want to call it it's the family fun yes. day yes the, the family, family fun, fun day. day sunday fun day fun day yeah, I saw the uh, the family portrait. That was, that was nice. You had the horns up naturally. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, I've I've always loved helping out with with. Uh, yeah, you've been on a few of my episodes. On the podcast or fee. We're gonna have to do another one here soon. I think. Oh yes. What's gonna be the? Uh, we, all, we always seem to have a. Uh, a fun, like, halfway serious topic. Like, yeah, like something we plan on and then the rest is the, just uh, chaos. <laughs> talking about all that <laughs> remains. Like, we're like, yeah, we're yeah. going to do some shit talking, but at the same time, we're going to talk about how we actually like them. Do you want to... I got I got an idea. So, August Burns Red just came out with a new album. I and saw And we are that both fans. We're big fans. Would you like to review it? We should. We totally should. I'm down. I, I like, like it idea. so far. I I like it a lot. So it's already out. Yes, I, okay. I've had it for I think two weeks now. Oh wow! So it's okay. <laughs> so I'm missing. I'm missing on this one. I sent you a song earlier. You did. I, I you were admittedly running just a couple minutes late, and I was telling the guys, I'm like, it's ridiculous that that Dick can send me August Burns Red <laughs> videos, but he while he's driving, I'm like he should be here. I was yeah. <laughs> I, I I saw. I was listening to that song. I'm like, holy shit! Nick will love this song. Frost was yes. that it? Something like that. Yeah, which turns out it actually already has. It's already a single too, so I didn't even know that. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to pop that on here after we're done recording. Oh yes. So we've got the uh, we popped open the Revolution Brewing uh, Antihero IPA. Um, I'm I'm liking the artwork on the can. It's just a big fist. <clears throat> um, and it looks like they are parachuting down giant hops. <laughs> um. 
Oh, and there's a there's a hop general. Like it's a guy in a general's kind of outfit, oh, except hop- his head is a hop cone. Nice. The hops kind of the parachuting hops kind of look like the bombs that they parachute right. down. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's definitely got a uh, darker color to it. Yes, we are much we're we're delving darker with this one than we were with the Kona. Yeah, and right off the bat, you just notice mm. the taste. It's immediately just smacks you in the gotten, face. I haven't even gotten to the taste smacks yet. Smacks you in the face with that hoppy smell. Mm. As soon as I, as soon it as the aroma young. hit my nose, yes. I just I knew that I was gonna like this beer. And I knew it was something I haven't had before, which I was I was pretty excited for too. And the collar on it, it's just got that nice golden crisp clear to it as well and it definitely definitely is tasting delicious as as good as it smells mm. i'm ready to take my first sip i've just been smelling it it smells so fucking good it really looks amazing through the <laughs> shield of maxins in me does it not <laughs> it does. oh yes it does. oh I, it mine's not full enough to do that <laughs> that's why that's why you got to kind of oh, got to tilt it tilt oh yeah <laughs> quite the ethereal glow just that's the vocab word of the day right there. Boom, <laughs> ethereal. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. It actually kind of goes well with the metal at Market Square because it goes well with the color scheme that's on the new shirts you got today. That is oh, true. Shit. Plug. That, that is true. <laughs> Plug that shit, Brett. Boom, buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I think actually some of the guys are using metal at Market Square glasses. We are. We are indeed. That, that's why I was saying. It's, the, uh, well. it's the party pack here. You can... Uh, you can pick those up next weekend at the Doom Room's fifth annual Halloween Bash. Much excited. This will be the first year that we're not doing it at the house. It will mm-hmm. just be somewhere else. There will no. There will not be a house show for the Halloween? There will not be. Bummer. It is bummer. I, th- but I thought about okay. doing something last minute, like on Halloween. Yeah. It's a last minute throw together show. I think some people would like that, but... We just decided because I, I mean we get more people every year, and last year there was over two hundred people at the house, and it was ridiculous. It's really hard to, to keep I had up with it. So much fun, <laughs> you know I had so much fun. We all know I had so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> your costume was still in the garage a couple of days later from <laughs> when it had been torn off. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Good. Uh, those times. those were some good pictures too. <laughs> Man, I could drink this all day. It goes down real easy. It's not too hard. There's no real. Yeah. Uh, sometimes with real hoppy beers, it kind of hits you in, in the throat when you're when you're taking it down at the end, mm-hmm. and <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, yeah, it just goes down <laughs> real easy. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's one of those ones like I've always I've always heard people say like to chew your beer, and it just sounds weird to say it coming from myself. But it's one of those ones I can just hold it in my mouth for just half a second longer and just appreciate the taste it really has. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind of like I lo- it tastes really good, but I'm loving the scent of it way more. Oh, oh yeah, like wow, oh, yes. it smells so good. <clears throat> they you know the can is super green. Mm-hmm. And it's got hops all over it, and then you put the glass up to your face, and it just reeks of hops. It's so strong. Have it's you like they're trying to say yet? something. I have not. They, they really did a full like like I'm, I really want to give Revolution their credit in terms of their whole marketing scheme. Yeah, like the, this you see the scheme. can, and you see the artwork, and you see the colors, and you taste the beer, and it all just it's it, it all flows together really yes. well. The color scheme on the can is just fantastic. It oh, really wow. is. Like the, the design work. I'm yeah. I'm a big fan of design work and excellent. Much excellent. Yeah, it's very creative. This is definitely one I'm gonna have to pick up though. This is this will be one mm-hmm. that I will be buying in the future to enjoy yet again. When uh when I picked this up it was in one of those party packs. So I got uh, four different, I think they were all IPAs, but four different beers. And there was, it was the Hero Pack. So this is the Anti-Hero. There was the Amarillo Hero. I believe there was the Tropic Hero. And then, I want to say, I'm going to feel silly. I think it was Crystal Hero or something like that. And uh, I've not tried any of them. I have tried the Anti-Hero before. Um, And something tells me that they just recently struck up some kind of distribution deal. Because, um, or they just got a new distributor because I've been, uh, um, I've not seen them around lately. Uh, it appears it's based out of Chicago. Ooh. 
That's cool. That's really cool. That's close by. Yeah. yeah, not far at all. We'll have to check out where that is. Yeah, definitely. We'll actually be in Chicago very soon for a show coming up, which we're both pretty excited about, I will oh, say. Oh, yeah? So, is this, is this so, what I think it is? This, yes, we're going to see Nea oh, Yes, I saw their play yeah. with, uh, with that band wit. that yeah. I can't pronounce. Um, that Allegion. band. Allegion? 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 I don't, I don't know. Um, but today <laughs> I was uh, just informed that Without Waves is opening. Oh, yes. no. Shit. Yes, so we get to see. When it. is this? Okay, uh, I'm it interested. Is, it is the 16th. Plug. It's a Thursday. I know it's a Thursday oh, for sure. I know. Mm. Um, but uh, we, Nick, we might have to we might have to stop in at Revolutionary and pick us up some more beer on the way home. You never know. I definitely agree. It would definitely be a better experience than the last time I tried to go to Chicago to go to a brewery. <laughs> if you uh, <laughs> if you'd like the full rundown, you can jump back to Podcastrophe episode six. Six where titled we, Colors. Yeah, we dis- we discussed when uh, Dr. Dongo and I went up to Chicago for the Between the Barrier and Me Colors 10-year anniversary tour, and we tried to go to Lagunitas, and it did not go well. Um, it uh, it was a mess, to say the least, but uh, I would definitely like to check out Revolution. Uh, coming up, what's uh, next? We're going to jump into the stone? I believe so. I, I jump believe into so. the stone. I want. There's so many things to pick out of what's come out of our mouths as the tagline. You know. <laughs> are you ever gonna do an episode where uh, we try your beer? Like are you, you know, I try your own beers. That's probably, honestly, something we should do almost every time since I've been brewing more I like lately. That idea. <laughs> we should have the you know we each pick one and then we have the Nick special pick and then we have the Maxims and me pick. I, I dig that idea. Did you uh, did you catch my? Uh, Instagram drop about the no. next beer. I have uh, maybe, maybe uh, I did. I've been trying to keep things exclusive between the different platforms, you know. I like so it gives people different reasons to go to the different places. So last night I posted up a picture of the recently bottled Thorax Ragnarok oh. Stout. Yes, I saw that. And uh, that bad boy has vanilla beans that have been uh, sitting in bourbon for the last half of the year. Dropped into this just beefy stout that we've been working on, and I'm telling you what, it it smelled amazing. It tastes almost like a barley wine. Just when we had the, uh, uh, um, you know, when we we're bottling it, we had a little bit left in the in the barrel. We took we took a sip of that, and even uncarbonated, it was it was quite a taste. Oh, nice. So that is not going to. We're not going to let anyone try that until December. At the Metal at Market Square Night 4, where Thorax is going to play with Bizarre Noir, Weed Bee, uh, The Sluts. The Sluts. The Sluts. I wonder if Robbie will be back for that show or not. That will be Robbie's show back. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Neither Round is playing that as well. We can't forget Neither oh, Round. Oh, hell yes. Um, I got to say, Joey, he's been doing a really good job with The Sluts. Yeah, I saw him for the first time with Joey this past weekend God when damn. they played at the Lafayette Theater with Michael Graves. Joey is and such Joey, a talented dude. He kills it. Such a talented dude. He's one of my favorite musicians because he can, he can do all the punk stuff. He plays his instrument like a badass. And, and then he can be a, a hardcore or a heavy metal vocalist. Yes. He, he's got it all. He can do whatever he sets his mind to. It's fucking awesome. So we finally we got it in front of us. I'm looking at the can. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump into it. I'll let I'll let Brett give you the give you the spiel on it since he brought it. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I poured this beer uh, is the fact that it's not as clear as the others. No, it's not as clear. And I, I'm reading the can now, and it actually is an unfiltered oh, pale goodness. ale. Um, and and everyone around me is smelling it right now, and uh, and uh, having, good to that. having an orgasm. Um, but the can is the can is as bright orange and purple, and they contrast each other really well. And I will say the orange on the can actually just matches it, the it brew really itself. Does. Truly, that, yeah. that it really just matches so well. And I don't even have the beer near my face right now, and I can smell it. Um, I'm not it a fan sounds, of that scent. I, I, just I, really just, I gotta this. give this back to Nick. I am I not a fan job. of that scent. Oh, really? Shit. Really? The really? Com- the, the, Unpopular opinion. That's okay. That's the okay. smell. Is, I haven't tasted it yet. The smell is strong. It's definitely very fruity. It's it, it smells juicy as hell. 
What was, what did you say, Don Go? <laughs> I I haven't tasted it yet. I'm gonna I'm holding my opinion until I taste it. But I'm not a fan of the scent. There we go. I, no, we want your opinion now. Yeah. We we want it all. We don't want to just sit here oh, and so, everyone agree with it. So will I? Do I taste it before you guys? We've already tasted it. Oh, you shit. taste it. And we're, <laughs> but but all right. He we'll let we'll let uh, I I, I we'll let do Don not go like take a scent. sip. But Nongo's gonna take a sip, and we're gonna. I do not like the scent. Clink. Ooh. Mm. It smells like a taste, in my opinion. It's strong. It's very fruity. It's, it's very, very forward. It's very juicy. Yeah, I love I that say. word, and it's true. It's so accurate. It, truly it tastes is. better than it smells. I think it's a strong yep. beer, but it's still juicy. Like some people mm-hmm. think, you know, juicy doesn't mean that it it's not alcoholic. It tastes. It, it tastes very alcoholic, um, but very juicy, very fruity. The color, like they said, it, it really does. They did, Again, Stone, bravo on being able to really hit the nail on the head with your, with your marketing scheme here. Unfiltered India Pale Ale with juicy pineapple and mandarin orange. It just goes down so smooth, guys. Oof. This is a limited release that they're doing. This is this is a special beer that they have only brewed certain amounts of, and I'm really glad I got my hands on on a you know a case of it because I'm really enjoying this. Um, even though the Antihero was a little more on the the bitterness units, um, this one's a little higher on the alcohol by volume, but oh, it feels to hit me in the mouth a little bit harder than the yeah. Antihero did. Um, and I, even though it's got that nice, almost ripe flavor to it from the pineapple, and it's just a hint of pineapple, I get a little bit more mandarin, but it's got that ripeness from the pineapple that I just, I'm still surprised that it is a little more, it seems a little more bitter, even though it's lower on the unit rating. Selfie time. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard to do at the angle that we're sitting at. We couldn't have no documentation of the first one. I was going to do it early. I was trying to, but I didn't want to interrupt anything. It's going to it's going to take some effort. We can all scooch. All even. We'll we'll work on it. We'll work on it. I'm really about this one. Yeah. I like it. It's very I'm gonna tasty. I'm going to have to probably go grab myself a uh, a pack of it. Zach, scoot in. Selfies more selfies galore. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Uh, You're right. Documentation very, is important. It's very tasty. It's very flavorful. Again, it's it's solid. So let's see. Uh, beer. I fucking love beer. Next uh, next weekend at the Halloween show, we're going to have that keg that we were going to try to have last time, <laughs> but we, yeah. we didn't have a nozzle for it. So we we're, we have a nozzle now. So we're going to have some uh, Maxons and Me's going to be hosting the pre-party. So uh, if you're some kind of fucking weirdo and are not going to come to the show, you can come to the pre-party and it's free because you know uh, Indiana, you know liquor laws. We can't we can't charge we can't charge people to give away free samples. So, um, but yeah, you want to come next weekend. You want to come next weekend because it's going to be a big fucking party with everyone here. Uh, the podcastrophe family, a good chunk of them oh, are going to yes. be there because the ever illustrious and amazing Walk Among Us will be performing. Yes, Nate, um, Nate Phillips from Journey into Comics. Subscribe to the Journey into Comics Patreon page today. <laughs> Throw us a buck or two. I've thrown a buck or three. I think it's it's a buck or three. Yeah. <laughs> Who it's all good. Just throw all your money. Who Give kidding? us your money. Nate's the man. Nate's, Nate the, one, Nate, the, man. Nate's the one who encouraged me to do this. After uh, I he, had, is, he is the most encouraging person when it comes to fucking podcasting. Yeah. So is Brandon, but... After but, I'd done... I did... Let's see. I did an episode of Journey into Comics, and then I did uh, Laffy Con. We did a panel. Uh-huh. I was on that. And then we did a couple podcast I think, I think you've done three with me. And then I Two think or three. It was only after two or three doing it with everybody that he was like, man, if you... If you ever want to do a podcast, you just let me know and we'll make it happen. Hell yeah. So, you know, it was a, it, it was going to be a metal one because I'm the heavy metal guy. That's uh-huh. what everyone knows me as. But uh, we've got a heavy metal thing going on. We, we do not have a beer thing going no, on. No, we do not. And I even though so we glad. do do some beer drinking while we do these other podcasts. Nick, <laughs> Nick can't, uh, since two, two of my, okay, this is, this is important because you, two people here are very integral 
into my journey into beer. <laughs> this is a journey. Brett into Maxwell beer. and Nick Maxson introduced me to real beer. Good beers. I came home from work one night, and you two were up. It was like three in the morning. It was like th- it was it was like That's it common. was somewhere between one and three in the morning. That's I got common. off work. I was on second shift. I got off work, and you guys were here like just just chilling, drinking, drinking some beers. So I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna drink with my boys. And I so I run upstairs. I get a I get a can of hams. And I come down. And you guys. You guys are like, what the fuck is that? No, we, you're we drinking you out re- pretty hard. Yeah, there. you did. We called you out pretty and, hard, and, which is not it's it's not normal because normally we just drink hams or whatever at a party. But no, you guys are like, no, you're drinking real beer tonight. Yes, yeah. and that's where you introduced me to Three Floyds. That, and yeah. I already I already knew I didn't like Gumball Head. I already knew I didn't like Gumball Head. So you guys are like, well, what do you like? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. So you introduced if me. If you that. like any type of beer, there's a better beer out there that you will like. I'm sure. Of yes. That. And that's uh, that's where like my coworker who told me that this was coming out, he used to drink Steel Reserves. Oh my every god. Every night. Every night. Ugh. He used to drink Steel Reserves. And I, I was like, dude, you got to try some other beer. Let me let me just give you some other beer and just please try it. And and now he is he's one of Stone's biggest fans probably. Like okay. he's following them as close as he can. And, and I would just like to point out now that every time you see Dick around here, he has an Alpha King yeah. in his hand, does he not? That, that was what Something I was getting good. to. You guys introduced me to Alpha King and Zombie Dust that good. night. Good. Good. And I I at at the time I had preferred Alpha or I had preferred Alpha King over Zombie Dust. Now I love Zombie Dust. I, if I'm not mistaken, that was Three Floyds, that is, what I considered the first big boy beers that I was drinking. Yeah. And I think my journey before then, my journey began at garbage. It was <laughs> didn't it was some party <laughs> where we were we were doing like beer pong and stuff, so it was just a lot of beer drinking as opposed to good beer drinking. So it was something in the hams, Keystone. And then I think I loved lining kugels for a while. I can clearly remember coming over to your house and you having multiple Barry Weisses, and those were just a little too much. <laughs> it was Barry Weiss. I was about the Barry Weiss. And then after that, it was 312, the, uh, the wheat. And then, uh, and then I discovered Gumball Head. And then from there. Uh, yeah, you introduced me to sprouted. Gumball Head, and I was not a fan. I still, I'm still not a fan of Gumball Head. I still dig it. I don't drink it as much because I try to. Like, like we're doing here, every single time mm-hmm. I buy. I don't like to buy beer that I've already had. Mm-hmm. I like to buy new beer every single time. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I remember when it, uh, the old the OG Doom Room. We used to, it, we used to party it up. We used to have just regular parties. Yeah, it wasn't. There were no <laughs> shows. They were just parties. Yeah, and just I remember there was always a bottle of Soco. Yep. Whoo. And I would always bring. <laughs> Just come over. I would always bring over a case of Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> come over. Hey that. guys, and now I'm on? drinking real beer. I remember that. Oh my. And I, I remember I used to make a game out of it. I would, uh, I would always just hide my. Whenever I'd finish a bottle, I'd find some place to hide the bottle. Oh, that was good. That was good times. That was relentless bullying on our parts. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Just every time you walk in with the Smirnoff, and we just would not let it uh, go. It is what it is. It was Smirnoff vodka that that fueled my alcoholism for a while. Uh, <laughs> much, a good... much like every other teenage girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, <laughs> so Aaron Sperling and I, we would sit around, and I specifically remember playing Castlevania Four on the Super Nintendo, where we would, you would play until you died, and then when you died, shot of the vodka and we would pass the controller back and forth and we would go to the store and we would get fucking four or five fifths of this nasty Smirnoff vodka in a single night. It was disgusting. So what you're telling me is now we need to do this game while playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts, right? Because we die a lot. We won't we won't need four or five. We'll probably just need a bottle. Even a even like a twelve pack. We're just gonna be drinking so much, like you die so quick. I'm not doing it with Smirnoff vodka. I'm not. I, I go through periods where it's just you, you overdo it and then never again. Smirnoff was the first. Captain Morgan was the second, and Soko was the third. Where you just you beat it into the ground. Where you just I, there was a time I remember when I was on my captain phase where I would carry around a fi- not a fifth but a a handle and just 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 slam it. It was disgusting. It was awful. I'm glad I got into beer. 
Yeah, I definitely, I definitely remember our captain days, and that's that's one of those liquors now um, where even when I smell it, it just makes me queasy. Um, and I will say, you know, I I heard a comedian once say, um, I plan on quitting drinking forever, and the best way to do that is by making yourself so sick off of one form of liquor you just stop. He's like, I can no longer hold on. I can no longer drink tequila because I got way too fucked up off of it. I can no longer drink vodka because I got way too fucked up on it. He I, said, so now I'm on whiskey, and it's really hard. I can't I can't do SoCo. If I, as I, soon as I, I smell it. I remember a Doom Room show where I was downstairs, the OG Doom Room, and someone handed me a flask, and I didn't care at the time. <laughs> um, and so I took a big old drink of it, and it was oh, that's dark. <laughs> it was January, and I went outside in a t-shirt and pants and passed out on the porch and getting sick. Like it was bad. It was bad. Over one sip of Soko, it was not good. So yeah, Soko and Captain. Keep away from Brett. Nope. I, I can't. I uh, to be honest, I can't do any hard liquor anymore. It just does not settle in my stomach at all. I still enjoy my whiskey. I can um, do Fireball, like gross. a couple shots of it. But I like, I like shooting whiskey through my nose. That really? is that is one of my go tos. Like uh, it's not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it's never on purpose. Don't ask how. <laughs> But he likes to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna... It's happened more than once, but but also recently. So that's what, that's what makes it especially good. All right, we're uh, go figure. We're running further than we thought we would on time because we're really good at bantering. But we we are on to our final beer for the for the day: the Hunter Double Milk Stout from 18th Street. Self-described as a stout brewed with lactose, sugar, and cocoa nibs. Uh, <laughs> nibs. Oh, yes. A Very rich chocolate flavor with a creamy texture, vanilla roast, and caramel sweetness met with a bright, hot bitterness. I really... Give me that bottle. I want to see this art. It's a beautiful, I, beautiful I, bottle. Yes, it really is. I'm seeing dragons and ghouls. It's very detailed. And, oh, man, that that's that's some art that I can dig. I have held on to this bottle for over a year now, boys. Holy shit. This is a very special thing. I wanted to save it for... Uh, something special. Some, something that you had not planned until recently, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, we've got like, uh, so we've already talked about the brewery and stuff. And, you know, as Brett and I are sitting around trying to decide what the special beer was going to be today, we moved past my Dark Lords. And, you know, the Dark Lords are specifically saved for when the brewery opens. Um, and uh, it was just something the moment, you know, I moved them all out of the way. And Brett probably remembers. I saw that one, and I, immediately I was like, that's the one. Like, that's the one that we're going to do. He grabbed it out of the closet and just shut it. I didn't really have much of a say in what we were doing. He's like, nope, this this is it. And, and we walked to the fridge, and he put it in there. And, and I've, I've smelled Man. it. I haven't tasted this yet. Nick, I, I have to ask, have yet. you tasted this before? Have you had this before? I haven't had the uh, – so this is – okay – Backtrack. This is the Hunter Double Milk Stout. So they've got a series of beers that go by the Hunter names. So I've had the Hunter Vanilla. I've had Hunter Coffee. I've had Hunter Coconut. But I had not ever had this specific one. So no. I've tried their different variations. But this this specific iteration I've not tried yet. So. Huh. And just on first smell, uh, <laughs> you can smell yeah. how it's... It's the very aroma strong. It's very strong. It's a uh, almost very milky strong. a little bit. It's a milk still. A huh? double. Huh? A double. I'm not gonna like this. Makes I sense. know I'm not going to. That. Oh, and it's so tasty. Oh, you just taste everything. The caramel, the cocoa. I'll speak for the... Dick. It's strong. It's oh. very strong. It's Holy very shit. strong. I'm not a fan. Put your big boy pants on. I'm not a fan. It is, it is alcoholic as fuck. Oh, that wow. is for sure. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strong. Um, it doesn't say on the bottle. Um, I won't embarrass myself by trying to call it off the top of my head. But after sitting for a while, it's well over 10%. And it is... It tastes... Uh, it's got It's got a liquor taste to it. It's pretty... That's, it's pretty powerful. That is powerful. Um, yeah, that's, that's a one word for it. Wow. Delicious. 
It definitely has the. I can taste the chocolate. Yeah. Um. The cocoa nibbles. Cocoa nibs. No cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs. <laughs> With a B. <laughs> what do you think, Brett? Um, I can just I can almost feel how thick it is in my mouth. Like it's it when as soon as it hits your mouth, it, it right it doesn't it doesn't um. So good. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna wash down super easy. Like you can just tell that it's, it's not like you're just drinking a glass of any normal beer and it just goes down. This is something that sits there for a minute and it's it's got a really good flavor to it. I've I've recently just got into stouts um, and darker beers, so they're not something I know much about. Honestly, um, I do stick more to the IPAs, but mm -hmm. this is a very good stout that I've had. Um, and one of my unpopular mm. opinions that no one agrees with is I hate Guinness. It's the probably the worst stout I've ever had. Um, and we'll never, we'll never touch it again. Um, but <laughs> this is, this is nice. It's Zach creamy. Zach is strongly disagreeing. Oh, he, 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 Everybody Zach strongly is disagreeing. disagreeing with my Guinness hey, opinion. I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, Brett. it's, I don't know what it is about I'm it. I'm an IPA this guy. Is, this is so... This is the only difference between this and midnight is eleven fifty nine. That's how dark it is. Um, I'm I'm literally holding it up to the window right now, and I cannot see through this beer. No light um, reaches through it's, it. It's it's no is light escapes. Very, it's very good. <laughs> I could not sit down and drink a whole bomber by myself. Oh though. no, I don't think I. Could. I can't even. I, I couldn't I could. even do more than the one sip I just took. Yeah, he's uh, he's probably done. I want I want I'm another done. sip. I'm gonna I'm done. Like, no, no, like your father. I'm gonna suggest just one more sip, please. You can't I'll do just it for have you. one. I'll Thank do you. it for you. It's episode one. You're right. It's episode one. I'll do it for you because I respect the shit out of you. One more time Blink. to Dick's non amusement. <laughs> and he switched it in his mouth. He gave it the full I He did. gave it the full effect. I did. Oh man. Ugh. I can't do that. You tried. I uh, tried. <laughs> you tried. Oh. Oh, wow. Maybe this is how we end every single episode, is picking a beer that we know is going to make Dick not happy. <laughs> hey, that's okay, because, you know, it's still trying something new. But I'm Dick, okay with that. Do you enjoy any stouts? Are there stouts uh, that you I like? Haven't, I haven't found a stout that I like. No. no. And I know, I know your beer journey has come a little later. Yes, um, and did. and even when it's come to me and everyone that I've helped to get into better beer, um, the journey is slow sometimes. It can't you have be. to you have to try beers, dislike beers, try another beer of the same style, yeah. maybe like it, and then realize why you might like it. So you know, I think from going from Smirnoff Ice to Hams to Alpha King, you're doing really well. <laughs> I think uh, the last stout or the first stout I tried. I, I, I might be I might be wrong. It might not be a stout, but um, I think it was for the Journey into Comics episode fifty. That was a hundred and ten so episodes ago, and I I we just decided we're, hey, we're gonna get some drinks and we're gonna record some episodes of Journey into Comics and yeah we're gonna have a good time. So I I stopped at the liquor store. They didn't have Alpha King or anything, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna try something new. They had Three Floyds blot out the sun. There we go. I tried that and I was like, oh, <laughs> that was, that also was also no from him. <laughs> that was also very, very early into my beer journey. <laughs> that was two years. ago. That was over two years ago. The one thing that actually got me into darker beers was a three Floyds brew um, called Robert the Bruce. I like, oh, no, wait, I don't like Robert, Robert the Bruce. Bruce was tasty. I remember that. Uh, Robert the Bruce is a Scottish ale. Or maybe so I it's... don't. I, I don't not like it. I, have, I don't think I've had it yet. I, uh, I know about it though. Yeah, it was it was a day me and Nick had uh, taken a trip up with a couple people to uh, Munster to I go love, to the brewing company. I love the Three Floyds Brewery. It's very cool. Um, so when we got there, we were going there specifically for for Zombie Dust, and yes, they were of course. out. They were out. Um, and so we ended up. Uh, I wanted to try something new. I never had, and I had, I had before never even had a Scottish ale. Um, and so I tried it, and as soon as I poured it, I was. I was a little queasy about it, but um, it's definitely gotten me into darker beers. So, I mean, you have to find the one yeah. that starts your journey into that. You know, you found Alpha King your, and Zombie Dust. Your journey into darker beers? 
Your journey into every beer. <laughs> Whoa. Journey into every beer. Whoa. Well, let me ask you guys a question. Have you guys ever had a had an argument over which shitty beer is the best shitty beer? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. I've been getting it. I have this we have this uh nineteen year old kid at work and he, he's like, Oh yeah, PBR. He's from Kokomo too. Okay, don't get okay, PBR is okay. PBR is okay. It's okay. But him and I have been arguing over whether hams or PBR is better. <laughs> Um, that's a that is one. an extremely hard choice. It is, but I'll take hams. I mean, no. Just because it's been what I've been raised on. I'll take know. hams because it's cheaper. It's what I've been raised on. I mean, hams is only cheaper by a couple bucks. I've seen a couple liquor stores that have raised their prices on PBR, but I think I think PBR has a little more flavor to it. Yeah. Not not much, and there's not, to... there's not there's not a distinct flavor to it. But I think it's got a little bit more of a beer flavor to it instead of just pisswasa. I would agree with Brett. Saying that you know PBR is just a little, a little better. But we're not talking about which one's better. We're talking about the shittiest cheap beer. If you guys are admitting that it's better, then you're missing the point. <laughs> you're looking for the worst. Yeah. And it's 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 worse and it's cheaper. If we're going now, for the we, worst, we, we might as well page? go for natural ice and just cut to the chase. Right. <laughs> How about instead of us rating? Okay, we're not doing this today. We're no, gonna, we're no. gonna take a, we'll, we'll take a whole episode to talk about how much about the best shitty beer. But what I want to do, and we'll try to make it quick because we're because we're you know we're trailing here. Let's go through and everybody pick out of the four beers we drank today, which one was your favorite? Brett, you want to start us off? Um, I'm going to start this off really selfish. That vengeful spirit was, the way it hit my palate was just so good and everything I wanted. And I have, I've, I've had a stuffy nose from allergies. It's that time of the year and it powered through everything. And I just, I got the aroma, I got the taste, I got the smell and it was, it was a good blend of everything that I wanted. It was everything I hoped for. Um, I'd have to go. The antihero was a close second, just just because I'm, like I said, an IPA fan. Um, I really am. But uh, those those are my top two. Doctor Dongo. Uh, my favorite, my favorites would be, have to be the um, number one, the antihero. I loved the antihero. Uh, it tasted great. Smelled even better. For okay, it tasted amazing and smelled even more amazing. Uh, um. Ventral Spirit? Is that what it's called? Ventral yeah. Spirit? Mm-hmm. That was okay. Uh, didn't really hit me that hard, as hard as I wanted it to. Uh, it tasted good. I'm not, I, I did not not enjoy it, Brett. I, I, the very good pick. But I think my number two would have to be the uh, the Longboard. Wow, Island cool. Longer. Uh, longer. Logger. Um, longer Board. Longer Board. Yeah. <laughs> longer Border. If anybody doesn't know, Longer Burger. Oh, awesome my baskets God. from the 90s. <laughs> God damn. Oh, that yeah. Was like, that was Shout Lula out to Rowe. Longer Burger Baskets. That, that was, <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was the that was the 90s version of Lula Row. That's yes, exactly what it is. Yes. My mom has probably 25 to 30 my Longer mom Burger baskets as in well. her house. Yes, my yeah, mom used no, to it's, sell it's them. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. <laughs> I know that there's some Longer Burger baskets sitting around here. All right. <laughs> Just the thing. Zach. Number one, number two. Number one has to be the Hunter Double Milk Stout. Ooh, just I loved it. The darkness of it. That stout you, guy. You got well, all the flavors. You, you got can the have cocoa, mine. The caramel. I pro- I've been eyeballing yours, and I'm not lie. I'm probably will take it. Have at it, pal. Number two, I had a real hard time choosing between the Anti Hero and the Vengeful Spirit, but I had to go with the Vengeful Spirit in this. I was a big fan of the juiciness of the of the beer. It just worked really well for me. And my taste buds, my taste buds really appreciated that. I, I hate to be that guy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna join Brett in it, and I'm gonna go and say that I think the anti hero was my favorite because it was the smell, the taste, it went down easy. And for me, as any of you will attest, if I'm drinking, I'm drinking a lot. I'm not just oh drink, yeah, I'm not just drinking a couple beers. I watched you shot so, it all day once. It surprised me how easily the antihero went down for being yes. six and a half percent alcohol. It was. It's exactly what I'm looking for in an IPA. You could, I could drink, you know, I could drink ten of them and I'm still going to be all right. And I, I, I'm going to be that asshole. I, I, I couldn't pick number two. It's not the longboard. 
It, it, I really like my dark stouts, but I really love the juiciness of the stone. So I'll give Antihero number one, but I'm not going to give Hunter or Stone the benefit, you know, of the win on, on number two. Because they were all really, really good. No offense, mm-hmm. Zach, but that that longboard just <clears throat> a little a little low for me. No, I agree. The I might longboard... pick it before the hams. The longboard seemed a little <laughs> lacking to me. It was too light for my preference, yeah. obviously, going with the stout as number one for me. Um, but, again, it was something I hadn't seen before. An island lager usually, to me, means something tropical in taste as far as that goes. So I was interested, but it seemed a little lacking, I'll admit. I agree. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for the uh, episode one of the Brews with Dudes. I want to thank my dudes for coming and drinking brews. Um, If you're listening and you would like to suggest a beer that we should try in the future, feel free to let us know. Um, Otherwise, uh, I'm Nick, and we will see you next time on Brews with Dudes. Yee. 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 Yee.